the first tutorial of our session. Today we are going to talk about PowerPoint and the basic features of the program. You can find PowerPoint on Microsoft's website or wherever else. Also, PowerPoint is the most common used program and that's the reason why we have decided to teach you about this. And the first thing you have to do is to open your PowerPoint and let's begin. The version of PowerPoint that we are using is 2007. Of course, there are newest versions but with not too many differences as the design of the product and the sophistication remains the same except from the user interface style. Also, in the new PowerPoint 2010, some new design templates are included. To begin with the user interface, Microsoft Office offers a very useful toolkit which allows us easy to create presentations. In the upper left corner we can see the logo of PowerPoint, which when we hit it, we can see some choices like new PowerPoint, open, save, save as, print, prepare, send our PowerPoint, close, publish. We can see also some PowerPoint options, button and exit PowerPoint. Moving now to the extensions toolbar, which we can extend our shortcuts. We can see as a default the save, the undo, the repeat, and also we can expand these shortcuts by clicking in one of the options here. For example, pre preview, you can see that the icon is being added. We can also remove this by simply click, click it. Moving to the main toolbar of PowerPoint, we can see that it is divided in Home, Insert, Design, Animation, Slideshow, Review, View, Add-ins, Add-up Presenter, which are extras that are coming from other programs and that extend the functionality of PowerPoint. Now, moving to the next part, which is left of the program we can see the slide manager where we can manage our slides and we can add a new slide we can duplicate our slide we can delete our slide we can publish the slides to check for updates the layout and other useful features in the main workspace we can see the selected slide Let's take the beginning and as a default this slide appears having two text boxes the add title and the add subtitle. It is important to add a title and the subtitle in order to give a brief explanation of, of what is going to be the presentation about. We are going to speak about this um, features in the next in the later stages of our training we can see at the um, bottom of the program that the notes section is being added and this is a note notes can be helpful for the presenter in order to keep him or her on track and help him to to remember things for the presentation. In the bottom of the program we can see the number of the slide, the current slide, the theme that we are using, the language and the spelling checker and also some features like to preview the PowerPoint and we can exit this mode hitting the escape button and also the zoom and unzoom options as well. Well, this is these are the main functions of PowerPoint and in the next video tutorial we're going to talk about how to use them and how to create effective presentations. Since next time, I wish you have all the best and have a nice day.